goes. Recently, a hawk moved in next to the field I typically fly at, and he's not too keen on model aviation. Almost every time Lawson or I fly, he comes out of his tree and chases the plane. Yeah, that was crazy. We decided to mount some cameras on board to see if we could get any good shots of him. This plane here is my old Bixler 1. I mounted the Mobius camera on shish kebab sticks that extended out from the nose. Sure enough, the hawk came out to patrol his airspace. His typical routine was to dive bomb the plane, then fly off to find a thermal and gain some altitude before repeating the process. On this day in particular, we were finding tons of lift and were able to stay aloft without using the motor at all. This was surprising to me because usually thermals move with the wind, but we were just circling over the same spot for about 20 minutes. This allowed the hawk to attack more because he didn't have to go off thermal hunting after every dive. Here I have two cameras on Eunice, the plane I set up for Quinn to fly FPV with. The Mobius was looking at the tail and the Runcam HD was looking up and back. Once the hawk started to dive, I would cut the throttle to avoid any injury from the prop. Here, he hit the plane and knocked the motor off. Here, I have the RC Timer HD tube cam looking at the two cameras up front to get a view of the hawk knocking into something. Unfortunately, that didn't happen during this flight, but I still got some more good flyby shots. Next, I decided to attach the GoPro for some higher quality shots. I also have the Run Cam HD looking at the GoPro from the tail. Sure enough, the hawk came out again. Right here, he smacked the GoPro and tilted it upwards. Luckily, it didn't break off. Here's a slideshow of still frames of the close encounters. Thanks for watching. Bye.